Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate the opportunity to um, speak somewhat in rebuttal of the comments by my colleague from Texas. Um, for those who might have just heard a call to read the speech or watch the speech, I urge you to also listen to her testimony and listen to the testimony of now Secretary of State Blinken and listen to recent remarks and speeches by President Biden. The situation we are in as a nation is this. You can reach back and find speeches, comments, addresses by presidents, CEOs, senators, and diplomats of both parties over decades saying positive and complimentary things about China and its future. And if we want to play a game where we reach back and pull out and point to something that was done here or there that is positive about China, we can play punch and judy almost indefinitely on a partisan basis. Why I'm supporting Linda Thomas-Greenfield for UN Ambassador is she knows personally from service across the continent of Africa the impact of the Belt and Road Initiative, the impact of debt trap diplomacy, which she spoke to in her confirmation hearing. And it is my hope that members of this committee, Republican and Democrat, can find the clarity of purpose to recognize that if we don't achieve bipartisan consensus, I agree with what my colleague said and with what she said and with what the administration has been saying, which is China is the greatest challenge to this nation of this century. I believe the path forward to addressing that challenge is by recognizing we have to develop a sustainable bipartisan strategy, not endlessly pick at each other by pulling out of a pile things that were missaid days or months or years ago, because frankly, there is no end to that strategy and no positive purpose. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair. Senator Kane. Mr. Chair, a procedural suggestion that I 